tell me what did I just watch? Somebody tell me what did I just watch? I think that this is the worst batch of men in Love is Blind history. As a collective, all the men on this show are terrible. All of the men on the show. Yeah, all of them. There's something, it's just, I, and not the girl, I'm not saying that the girls are perfect because Hannah by far is not, okay? She's very problematic. But, the ratio from trash on the men's side is just that episode just got my mouth on the floor because what happened? A lot happened in those, in that hour, a lot that it, we, from A to Z real quick. I mean, we went from zero to hundred like that. Like couples were donezo in a day. I was like, Oh my gosh. Love is truly not blind. Love is truly a wreck, a mess. All right, so let's get right into the ep episode. So it starts off, we see Hannah and um, Nick D and they're taking pre-wedding pictures and they came out really cute. You know, they look like a happy couple. Everything seems to be going smooth, even though we know that Nick D and Hannah are a train wreck. But then we move into Tim and Alex and this time Alex gets to meet Tim's parents. And it's going really, really well. Tim's parents, they seem very serious, just like Tim. I told y'all, Tim seems so serious. He's very militant, like, all the time. His parents gave me that as well. His mother clearly runs that relationship. The father kind of just sat back and just, like, listened to Tim um, or listened to the mom. But, like, Alex connected with the mom. She let him know how serious she took it. She explained to him how Tim had met her father and she would not have accepted Tim's proposal if her father didn't approve. So it seemed like things were going really good between Tim and Alex, her parents, his parents seemed pleased with Alex. Like, okay, you guys seem like a pretty nice couple. We can keep it moving. All right. So I was like, okay, let's keep it moving. So then we move on to my ex favorite couple of the season, Ashley and Tyler. <laughs> Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And so we pick up where we left off where Tyler was explaining to Ashley that he has three kids, <laughs> that he is just a sperm donor to these three children. So, you know, Ashley's very much like and rightfully so, like, why would you just spring this on me now? I feel like you should have been told me this. This is something I should have known when I was in the pods. I feel like you took, you know, you took the the choice away from me. And Tyler's sitting there with that pitiful face. Just He has one tear strolling down his face. You know, I'm okay. Like, I understand if you didn't want to talk to me. I just appreciate it that you're even here having this conversation with me. It it shows how much you, you know, value this relationship. And he's right. He's absolutely right. Because Ashley, you are really, really nice. You are really nice. You handled that better than I think most women would have handled that. So Ashley's questioning him and she asked him, you know, about these kids. Like, so do these sperm donation kids you know, do they even know what you look like? Because before this, Tim, I mean, Tyler, let it be known there, his friend was in a marriage, a lesbian couple, and he wanted to help them out by offering up his sperm. So he gave his sperm. So this married lesbian couple can have kids. Seems like an honorable thing to do. Mm, I don't know. We, we will find out when the season is over. So Ashley asks him, so do these kids know what you look like? This man says, mm, no, I don't think so. Like, what? I, 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 Do the kids know what you look like? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, he looked up like, uh, I don't think so. Tyler, the receipts are receding. Now, we done seen pictures of him with these kids on Christmas. We done seen pictures of him holding the kids when they were born. We done seen him, them out with the kids. The kids like that is da da that's da 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 that's da da and you gonna sit here and lie on national television? Not only lie on national television, but lie in this woman's face. When that man said that, y'all, and we already all of us watching have the backstory of these kids and him with the kids, so we know the kids know what he looks like, and he lied to her face. You guys, my heart dropped. Like I was sick for Ashley in that moment. Like literally, I wanted to throw up for her. Like that is evil. 
I said that last review, but Tyler is a certain type of man. That man is evil. He will lie to your face when something so blatantly can be proven, but he doesn't care. He will say whatever. He will do whatever it is to make him look like the good guy in the end. But he's like the devil in disguise. Literally looking at Ashley dead in her eyes lying like that about children that he fathers. A simple question, do the kids know what you look like? Why did you lie about that? That is scary. And I'm just like, at this point, these photos were up on his mama's Facebook. Where is the deep dive into these contestants? A background check. You guys don't do a social media sweep of these contestants. Like I, I, I am disgusted. I am appalled at the level of distrust, the level of evilness that they would put on their castmates this type of emotional trauma i actually i girl girl i don't even know what to say like i feel sick for you and it's looking like ashley and tyler are going to say yes on the wedding day and i'm just like whoo sister when is Ashley going to find out all this about Tyler? She has to know by now. I hope she's not finding out with us, with the rest of the world. I hope not. I like just bring on a reunion at this point. Just bring on the reunion because that lie is like one of the, I think like love is blinds all that goes in the book of evil villains for me. Tyler took the cat. Tyler got the evil villain role for me. I don't know what's going on. And it like a lot of people are saying they think that Tyler and Ashley are still together based on like her Instagram posts and stuff. But, you know, we don't know. We don't know. I would say Ashley's doing a very good job on social media if they aren't together, like keeping us in the we don't know what's going on. But girl, I pray for you. I really do because Tyler is an evil, evil man. And you did not deserve that. That was insane. That was diabolical. Like, I don't even want to use that word, but it was just like, I could not believe that this man sat up on this screen and lied like that. I want him jailed for that. I want him in jail right now. The, what? In the entire H-E double hockey sticks was that. After that, I was I was just abrupt. I just couldn't believe it. Tyler lied to all of us. And I just need to see where this goes. And poor Ashley, she doesn't know. And at this point, she, you know, how is she supposed to know? She's asking me to her, these are sperm kids that he has no relationship with. I am confused. I am confused because I don't know. We don't know. And we shall see. All right. I, I, but that lie, the kids know what you look like, Tyler. And for you to lie like that, you're a liar. And what else do you lie about? Moving on. Ramsey, 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 Ramsey. Ramsey is upset with Marissa because Marissa is sick. So she's not wanting to get it on like how they were doing in Mexico, you know, it's a little, it's slowing up. And he's like, I just don't want this, how it be it's going to be in the relationship or in the marriage because how it was in Mexico. I loved it, but how it is now, uh, I can't really get with that. And Marissa's like, well, you know, I'm sick right now and I don't feel good. So I, you know, I'm not, you know, giving you all the affection that you need. And they're having a discussion about affection and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, Marisha is actually the most affectionate. She was the one always running to him, sitting in his lap, kissing on him in front of all the girls. So I'm thinking to myself, Ramsey, that's not enough. If the girl is sick right now, God, dang, I, absolutely not. Mar Marissa and Ramsey, it's a no for me. He kept giving me, he is very selfish. He sits on his high horse. He is, it's all about him. It's his high, it's highway or the, it's his way or the highway. He has to be happy. And I don't really think he cares about 
anybody else's feelings. Just like that conversation about using condoms and her getting on birth control. It, it didn't matter about her. It was about what feels good to him and what, what makes him happy. What will please him? It's all about what Ramsey wants and thinks and needs and what makes him happy. It's not a collaborative effort. And for that, I cannot, I cannot with Ramsey. It's like more red flags keep popping up. Like I, I don't like Ramsey y'all. Like it's a no for me. We got Tyler and we got Ramsey uh, and uh, two no's. All right. So then we see Hannah and Nick and they're having this like conversation and Hannah is absolutely mean. That is a mean, mean, mean girl. I don't know why she's so mad to Nick D. So mean to Nick D. Like, I think you're stupid or dumb or whatever. And I don't mean to make you feel like that, but sometimes I feel like at 28 years old, you should know how to do things. So just she asked the man, like, do you read? Like, what's, what book do you read? Like, he don't have to read, Hannah. He don't have to do none of that stuff. Like, sh the way she talks down to that man is just, like, ridiculous. Like, you don't have to talk down to that man the way you do. Like, you are just a mean girl to him, all right? But in... Hannah's defense, not even Hannah's defense. I understand. Nick D has been coddled. He has been babied for far too long. He's 29 years old, but he acts like a teenage boy. He has like zero responsibility. He has, he knows nothing. Like he's a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. Nice guy, but he's a boy and not a man. it's like adopting a child. So I don't know if he's speaking ready for of marriage childish. I forgot to like mention that Hannah spoke about Nick D don't like to eat the punani. Like I said, childish. Like I, we don't have time for these games. We're grown. Okay. Grown men eat punani and he don't want to eat the punani. We just can't be together. This, he just, he gives me little boy. I'm sorry, y'all. But Hannah is mean and it, it ain't going to work out with having somebody be mean to him. And the way Hannah talks to him and he allows it because he's like a little boy. It's like, like we're watching somebody get bullied on national television. It's like, I feel bad for you. But then it's like, I don't, you're a man. Tell that to shut up. Like, who do you think you're talking to? You know what I mean? Like Nick, like stand up for yourself. Like I just, it was just, it's like Nick D he gives me little little boy but it's like this is a grown man's world sir like you gotta be a man I, it's I, I, oh my gosh nick is a no for me as well but hannah's a no as well because that girl is mean a big big bully and i don't like neither one of them and they need to stop because they ain't gonna make it moving on to now this is the scene i just was like what is going on what is happening here? Tim and Alex sit down to have a discussion and baby, it went totally left. I, a, a lot of y'all have been on Alex this season, but this time I was on Alex's side because something is off with Tim. Like Tim is very angry. And this episode I saw very sassy. He's a very sassy, sassy man. Can I speak? Like every time Alex tried to get it, no, are you going to let me speak? Are you going to? Okay, great. So like, it was so passive aggressive. It was just like, so Al every time Alex tried to speak, are you going to let me speak? Okay, go ahead. And then he would go on and it's like, get to the point. I hate people. It's like, are you going to let me speak? All right, I'll let you speak. And then you're just saying a bunch of nonsense. Like Tim, 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 we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. But once again, so Tim, after Alex met Tim's parents, Tim says he feel like my parents drove down here hours to meet you. You sat with them after the cameras went, you went and took a nap or you went to sleep. I felt like you should have been trying to spend as much time with my parents as possible. Understandable. Because I feel like, Alex, you made Tim go above and beyond when your t parents came. You should have put in the same effort that Tim put in when your parents came. Do I feel that Alex did that? I don't really know. I don't think so. If Listening to Tim. But I mean, 
she did meet with the parents. They had a seemed like a really good relationship. She was the one talking the whole time, mostly from what the camera showed. I know it could be an edit. So it's just like, okay, all right. If she did go to sleep, Alex said she went. She took a nap for an hour. That was it. But I mean, Al, girl, you should have been spending time with his parents. But again, Tim, you had to communicate how you feel. He also said like he went and after he cooked for her and her family, he came back and did the dishes. She, she should have been the one to actually clean the dishes because he did all the cooking. And I agree with Tim. Absolutely. This is a partnership thing, right? But baby, you got to communicate that. Alex seems like the type of girl, she's, she's a little selfish. She's in her own world. She is not like, I don't think she's thinking how you think. And that's something I had to come to realize. Everybody does not think how you think. Like you have to tell someone how you're feeling or if you don't like something, y'all got to speak about it or you're going to just build it up, build it up, build it up and blow up like Tim. Because Tim, those two things, honey, he ended the relationship. He was like, um, he was, he's done. He was like, yeah, to end this conversation. And I'm like, we're ending this conversation. And Alex did a wonderful job in explaining to him, like, well, I did not know this is how you're feeling. Like, why didn't you tell me? You have to communicate this with me. I cannot read your mind, Tim. And Tim was just being so passive aggressive and so sassy the entire conversation. Child, he ended a conversation with, I don't never want to see you again what excuse me what happened am i missing something is production not showing me everything alex even said but you just met my parents two days ago looked my father in his eye and said that you were going to marry me and we and then i don't do something you like or i didn't spend as much time with your parents and i didn't wash the dishes and you're ready to end this relationship yeah, I told y'all it was a red flag when they got in their first argument and Tim was like, I'm ready to go. I'm over it. Tim needs therapy. Tim needs help. Like something's wrong with him. Like he's so angry. Like he's so angry. And then he sat with his legs. Like, girl, it was giving sass. Like, I never want to see you again. What did Alex do to you that made you that angry? Like little stuff like that could be worked on. Like Tim, you're not going to find somebody perfect. You're going to have to work on. This is something two people have to work on. Everybody's not going to think like you and be like you. And you're not willing to put in the work. So Alex, girl, take that and run. You handled it very well because it was very hurtful what Tim sat there and did and said to your face. I felt like that was very hurtful. Like I wanted to cry for you. Like I never want to see you again. Well, damn, like, what did I do to you that you would say something like that to me? Like, it, it was just so weird. It was just like out of left field. Like in two days, it's this big switch up over dishes and you not speaking, like not being 100% there more for when my family was there. Like, you couldn't have worked through that. You couldn't have talked about that. We couldn't have talked about it and worked on it. Like, that's what makes you in a relationship. Tim's like, if I have to tell you that, then you're not the type of woman for me. I was like, woo, Tim, go to therapy. Yeah, go to therapy. Get help. Like, at trash, trash, trash. I cannot believe he sat there. I never want to see you again. That was so mean. So mean. So nasty and so rude. So nasty and so rude. Child, I just couldn't believe it. And then we had like this party with everybody and like the great Gatsby party. And we see Garrett and Taylor. Sorry, excuse me. Garrett and Taylor. Supposedly the one couple that I thought is just going to make it. They're going to go far. Like they seem like the boring good couple, the nerds. Until we find out that Garrett is a liar. Garrett likes to lie. Garrett gets caught up in stupid lies. So apparently Garrett's ex texted him, right? So somebody who used to deal with in the past texted him. I don't even know how Taylor found out, but she did. Garrett told her, you know, I didn't even respond. I just liked the message. It was nothing I should told you. Da, da, da. Taylor, she's very upset about it. She's like, I just need you to be, you know, honest, truthful with me. Like if 
exes are texting in the past. I think you should just cut it off. You're like, you shouldn't speak. But he's like, you know, I didn't even speak. I just liked the message. Y'all, 20 minutes later, we're at the party with all the people from Love is Blind. He's sitting down with Tyler, uh, the other liar, okay, and Ashley. And he's telling Tyler, like, yeah, we had a little argument. My ex texts me. I responded to her, you know, I'm engaged, so I don't think we should talk anymore. And Taylor's sitting there like, wait, 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 wait a minute. When we were outside just 10 minutes ago, you told me you didn't respond. You told me you just liked the message. And Garrett's like, well, I did respond. She's like, well, let me see your phone. He's like, oh, I don't even have my phone. It's over there. Yeah. Can we just, can, I, can you see my phone later? Whoa. Whoa. So at this point, Taylor is visibly getting upset because it's like, you are lying. You are caught dead in a lie in my face like this like 10 minutes ago you just told me something totally different and now you're saying here now you're like backpedaling and pussy popping like what's going on and i'm like gary not gary being a liar that was not on my bingo card i was not expecting that is gary a liar because let me tell you something if you're going to lie about something as small as that like that was so stupid you just told me five minutes ago you liked it now you're telling me you responded you can't even keep up with your lies like that that means you are a liar liar so what else are you lying about gary what else you got going on what is the math or the algebra with men and lying they don't even know how to lie right like they lie so bad like I, all the time, like, I don't, they just lie. Like, it's really, like, there has to be some type of psychology that I don't know about, about men and lies. Because the way they lie is, like, scary. Like, just, oh, it's raining outside. It's actually sunny. Why are you lying about that? What, what is the problem? I said, oh, my gosh. I don't like anybody on this television show. Love is Blind season seven is a disaster. It's a disaster. Every single man has been a disappointment. And again, I'm not saying that the women are perfect because nobody's perfect. But again, the ratio of disaster and liar falls on the men. All of them. Just Nick D is just a little boy. I, I throw my hands up. I, 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 this is the worst group of men in Love is Blind history. Please drop down in these comments and tell me what you think. Okay. What did you think about this episode? What happened with Tim? Why did Tim, what are we disappointed in Tim? Tyler is a liar and he needs to be in jail. What did you think about Tyler? What about Garrett? The good guy. He's a liar. Drop down in these comments and tell me what you thought. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm distraught. Love is Blind really pissed me off. Like, that was terrible. I don't even know if I want to continue watching. Bring on the reunion.